This year marks the 15th anniversary of Scholastic's graphic novel imprint, Graphics Books. And we've got a spring packed full of great graphic novels from YA to younger graphic novel readers, giving you plenty of reason to celebrate. That's right, with Stinking Ships and Stinky Sewers, A Friendly Owl and a Friendless Girl, we have a graphic novel for every reader. Coming up, you'll hear from the amazing Lauren Tarshis about the graphic novel adaptation of her best-selling historical fiction series, I Survived. Author Andy Runn will introduce you to Owley. You'll love him. He's a hoot. Maria Scriven, cartoonist extraordinaire, talks about her hilarious and heartfelt middle-grade graphic novel, Not Enough. And Tom Engelberger shows us how he draws Geronimo Stilton in his upcoming graphic novel. But first, say hello to your friends. The Babysitter's Club graphic novel series is expanding with the Babysitter's Club Little Sister. These graphic novel adaptations of the original Anna Martin books are great for younger readers who are eager to join the club. And based on the hit Netflix series comes the She-Ra and the Princesses of Power graphic novel series. This series is based on stories from show creator and best-selling author Noelle Stevenson. In book one, Legend of the Fire Princess, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power are on a quest to find the ancient rune stone. The stone could prove the turning point in She-Ra's fight against the Horde, or its dark power could lead them to ruin. Hi, I'm Maria Scrivan, and I'm so excited to tell you about my middle grade graphic novel, Nat Enough. Nat Enough is about Natalie, who doesn't think she's athletic enough, or cool enough, or popular enough. So much of this story was taken from real events and real feelings from my childhood. Just like Natalie, I struggled to fit in and was bullied. And just like Natalie, one of my biggest bullies was myself in the form of self-doubt and self-criticism. And just like Natalie, I wore the most ridiculous parrot costume to the school play, which you just can't make up. Not Enough is a story about self-worth and self-acceptance and being more of who you are. I hope my readers realize they're already more than enough, just as they are, and enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Hi everyone, my name is Andy Run and I'm the author of Owley. Now, Owley isn't your typical owl. He stays awake during the day, he gardens, and he only eats vegetables. But most importantly, he just wants a friend. Sadly, all the other animals in the forest are afraid of him. Now, this first volume of the Owley series is called Owley the Way Home. And it's actually two separate stories. In the first story, Ali rescues a little worm from a puddle and he promises to help him find his way back home. It's a long journey, but both of them just might find what they're looking for along the way. In the second story, Ali and Wormy meet a pair of hummingbirds. Now these birds aren't like anything they've ever seen and they want to help them and they want them to stay forever, but winter's on its way and that could be a problem. Uh, but don't worry, the Ali stories are gentle and they always have happy endings. I am thrilled to share the first I Survive graphic novel, I Survive the Sinking of Titanic 1912, which takes my historical fiction story and transforms it into something completely new. The script writer Georgia Ball and the artist from House Studio brought my characters George and Phoebe to life. They pull readers on board the glorious Titanic and through all the terrors of that history-making night in April of 1912. My hope is that die-hard I Survive readers will love experiencing the stories in a new way, and that these books will help make my series and these powerful historical events accessible to even more readers. Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Engelberger. Hey, you know I've written a lot of books like Origami Yoda. Finally, I'm getting to draw my own comic book. And even better, it's one of my favorite characters in the whole universe. It's Geronimo Stilton! I get to draw a Geronimo Stilton book. Can you believe it? So how am I going to draw a comic book? Well, if you've seen this picture of Geronimo Stilton, you know, that's a really nice drawing. Some really good artist did that. I can't do that. What am I going to do? Well, I had to figure out a way that I could learn to draw Geronimo Stilton. So I learned to draw Geronimo, and now I'm going to teach you how to draw Geronimo. Are you ready? Like Geronimo Stilton? Uh, hopefully. All right, guys, well, wish me luck because I'm writing a huge, like, 185 page book of Geronimo Stilton. So, wish me luck. I'll see what I can do for you guys. I hope you like the book when it comes out. Bye, everybody!